Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Mikey G, and it's Thursday, February 15th. Some early Tesla Cybertruck owners are reporting some rust spots on their brand new stainless steel pickups. At this point, it's not entirely clear what's happening, but we got a pretty good idea of what it is, and it could be an easy fix. There is a misconception that stainless steel doesn't rust at all, which got Cybertruck enthusiasts excited when Tesla unveiled the full stainless steel body. Cybertruck Owners Club member Rexar recently took delivery of his truck and shared issues disclosed by his Tesla advisor. The new owner posted up a few pictures of rust spots on the truck. Some other owners reported similar issues, but right now the main theory is environmental contamination, which is potentially rail dust, which is a common thing for vehicles being transported on trains. So far, the issue doesn't seem widespread. However, it is something that has existed in the car market for a very long time. Particularly with white painted cars, sometimes it's easy to notice little spots that have come during transport. Cybertruck owners and prospective buyers could be aware of this, although it's not something that directly affects just the Cybertruck. The new refreshed Tesla Model 3 has new technology that isolates shake frequencies in your belly. The last part of that was actually a direct quote. Lars Moravi, the vice president of vehicle engineering at Tesla, said that Tesla is using a new technology called frequency selective damping in the new refreshed version of the sedan. It's described as, quote, unique shock absorbing technology called frequency selective damping, which improves ride comfort by isolating shake frequencies in your belly, 4 to 6 hertz, without losing response in steering. Basically, just makes the small nibbles in the road disappear. Now, this could be seen as something similar that Cadillac had done inside the Lyric, although for them it was just noise canceling, not entirely just for vibration canceling, let alone irritable bowel syndrome vibration canceling <laughs> or something. Tesla is now starting to account for battery age in its estimated range calculation for their electric cars. Tesla has been a leader in efficiency in long-range electric vehicles for quite some time, but despite that, there are a myriad of issues when attempting to predict the energy consumption of a long trip. Over the last few years, Tesla has invested more into its range calculation, adding crosswind, headwind, humidity, and ambient temperature in a software update in 2022. But now we learn that Tesla has added a new factor of battery age. Kind of already thought that this is something that they already counted for, but apparently it wasn't. It's possible that Tesla has made new findings about how battery age can affect the range in a vehicle. And the new software update also lets you know how much preconditioning time the battery needs before going to a supercharger station in the cold. Those looking to get their hands on GM's highly anticipated Chevy Blazer EV might have to wait a little bit longer. Sales of the new Chevy Blazer EV are still paused as General Motors looks to overcome software glitches, getting the automaker back on track. GM issued a stop sale on the new Blazer in December, four months after opening orders. The company said that it was temporarily halting sales for the software fix. And then two months later, Chevy Blazer EV is still suspended. The software issue is also affecting GM Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon gas-powered trucks, this according to the Detroit Free Press. Now, the upcoming Equinox EV is slated to fill big shoes for General Motors since they ended the production of their best-selling Chevy Bolt. Ah, kind of hurts. Stellantis and Mercedes-Benz have raised nearly 4.4 billion euros to build four new electric vehicle factories across European Union in the coming years. The move is undoubtedly a huge push to give European automakers a fighting chance over China in the EV sector. A press announcement this week said that the companies, along with Total Energies, have pulled off one of the largest debt fundraising operations ever carried out in the European auto sector. Among the banks financing the deal, it includes BNP Paribas, ING, Dutsky Bank, Intensa San Paolo, as well as the government of Germany and the government of a country called France. Italy so far has not contributed to the funds. Having just launched its 2024 Air model just a couple months ago, Lucid first started slashing prices, and now they are slashing prices again. Lucid Motors shared that they revamped air prices in the press release, and it led to the lowest trim level, called the Pure, now starting at $69,900. The two air trim levels above that one, called the Touring and Grand Touring, those have been cut to starting prices of $77,900 
and 109900 respectively. And the only Lucid Air model that does not see a lower price is the Tri-Motor Sapphire, which is understandable because it's just off the assembly line and it's also in a very different price category. Also, the new Air customers will receive a $1,000 allowance towards the purchasing of charging accessories like Lucid's connected home charging station. General Motors has once again expanded their map of routes that enable Super Cruise hands-free driving in North America. In August of 2022, we saw General Motors expand to about 400,000 miles across North America, but today they've announced the network has grown again to 750,000 miles available for this feature. Following the expansion, General Motors is now hailing their Super Cruise network as the largest truly hands-free map in the industry. BYD is making big moves to stay on top of the market. In its latest deal, it gives Ford and General Motors supplier called Borg Warner, it gives them rights to sell BYD blade battery packs. Borg Warner announced the strategic agreement with BYD's battery unit called Fin Dreams. Under the deal, the auto supply giant will be the only non-OEM localized manufacturer with rights to localize BYD's blade battery, lithium iron phosphate battery packs for commercial vehicles. Now, BYD dominated the lithium iron phosphate battery market with a 41% share through last November, according to data from the China Automotive Battery Industry Alliance. Chinese rival CATL was in second place with 33.9%. The BYD deal comes on the same day that they secured a contract with a major Chinese OEM for dual inverters. Borg Warner also began building e-motor rotors and stators for Xpeng just last week. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Cubby Tech says, appreciate your insight. Well, thank you very much, Cubby Tech. If you like these videos, be sure to click like and leave a related comment and share with your friends, at least any of them who you think would like a daily electric vehicle news recap. As always, I don't advise clicking the bell icon to be notified because your peace of mind is worth far more to you than the minuscule proportion of monetary gain that's left to me after YouTube takes a cut. Thanks for watching Quick Charge. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.